Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be making fruit resin earrings. I'm going to be dehydrating fruit, slicing it up, trying to get creative with it, and then I'll be fitting them into open bezels. So the fruit that I have to work with in this project are some blueberries, I have grapes, raspberries, strawberries, and I think I'm going to be mixing some of this fruit with flowers, with some of the pressed flowers that I have, just to make some of the charms more interesting. For this video, I wanted to try a bunch of different things, so I manipulated all the fruit in different ways. The raspberry I rolled out, I dried a bunch of individual seeds, and then I did some cross sections, some thin cross sections that would be able to fit into the bezels. I was really hoping to focus on the texture texture and pattern of all the individual fruit to see what each one could offer in its own unique way. I love being able to go to the grocery store for resin art materials. I also got this circular cutting tool to cut out a bunch of circular strawberry shapes. I thought this was kind of fun. I put all these things in the dehydrator for 48 hours and just hope they wouldn't lose too much color. have all of my stuff set up on my table over here. I just got this super hot water so I can warm up some resin. And we're gonna have a wonderful ASMR relaxing resin making video today, right beside a highway. It's fine, it's not a busy highway, but it is a loud one. So in this video, we're gonna be making some resin earrings. I'm just placing these in hot water. Okay, okay, well, got that on film, it's cool. It's worth it if it's on film. It's really hot water though. It's a bit full, but I'm just like setting those in there, letting those warm up. So we have this big box of everything we need to do resin, I promise. We're gonna start off by plugging in this glue gun because as per usual, I'm going to glue down the bezels to the tape so we can have a more secure working space. I'm mixing a very little amount, so we're going to use this silicone measuring cup. Super useful, super reusable, and it has the measurements on there, so we're doing one-to-one, 50-50 -one, amounts of the resin. tape down some newsprint. I'm working outside today, so the wind is a factor. I taped down all the corners of the newsprint and then I put a couple pieces of tape down so I can glue all of the bezels onto these pieces of tape. One of these videos, I wanna do the technique where you use the sticky side of the tape and you don't have to use all this glue. Today was not that day because I was working outside and I didn't want anything to be blowing around anywhere. Fruit dehydrated really well, I think. Everything kept a pretty good color. The raspberry was a little bit paler. It definitely lost some of its saturated color, but things also tend to darken a little bit in resin as well, cause it's kind of like coated by this wet material and it magnifies and darkens the color too. So I was excited to start these bezels. So unfortunately, some of these materials won't fit these molds. I don't know why I thought these molds were a little bit bigger, but I'm gonna taste test this slice of dried grape for fun. It is pretty cool looking though. It's like transparent and everything. Very sweet and sugary. This would be amazing just to add to cereal. It's so crunchy. Okay, back to filling up these molds. I'm 
mix together the two part epoxy resin, so 50-50 for the hardener and the resin itself. I start by pouring a first layer into all of the bezels. Use a toothpick or a popsicle stick to make sure the resin's getting into every single corner of those bezels and I can start thinking about the composition of shapes. So I had these strawberry polka dots that I decided to put in some teardrops and threw in some half blueberries there too. I thought this earring was really dark so I wanted to throw in some green fern and a yellow flower just to brighten things up. A lot of these are just for experiments. I didn't know what fruit looked like in these earrings. I wonder if it would give a transparent quality and if the natural patterns of these fruits would come through in the end. You could definitely see a bunch of the seeds and the vibrant color of fruit is always something so great that I admire. sprinkle some raspberry slices into the square bezels and I also use them as decorative elements for some of the other earrings and once the first layer was poured I just had to wait about 12 hours before I could pour the second layer which would seal everything up and make sure we have a glossy top coat. Some of the fruits were definitely poking out, some of them weren't as flat as a pressed flower. I tried to gloop on that resin, which was another really good reason why we used the hot glue method to make sure the resin doesn't damage the bezels, or once we have to sand it down, it'll be a little bit easier. I use my heat gun to get out all of the air bubbles and give it another full 24 hours before I can start picking them up and sanding them down. The tape works really well and it always peels off and always transfers its smooth, clear and shiny surface. So the backs of a lot of these earrings look even better than the front. So all of them come out of the sheet of resin relatively easy enough. There is a little bit of cleaning up to do with my Dremel, not too much, but some pliers and my Dremel are enough to just get off all of that excess resin. I like to wear my gloves for this part of the stage as well because when resin becomes powder again, it's actually really easy to uh, inhale for one, and it's irritated my skin in the past before. At this point, I can really tell how these are looking, which is getting me really excited to finish them off and have even more decorations around my place. Step was to decide what's gonna be what so I get out my jewelry making things and I string some up on chains and choose some of the pairs to be earrings. I worked in a way that all of these could be earrings and I just picked out which I thought were the most interesting. Thank you. 
So this is how the strawberry teardrops turned out. I think they're kind of interesting. I don't know if I'd use blueberry in another pair of resin earrings just because it's really dark, but the fact that I know that's what it is does kind of make it a little bit better and more interesting. The strawberry skin is like really vibrant and you can definitely tell it's a strawberry with all those seeds and it tapers out with a little bit of red transparency, which is pretty. And then the yellow flower just on top with the fern. Here are the raspberry earrings. These ones aren't perfect. They're protruding a little bit. I love how you can see the inside of the raspberry and the individual seeds. And I threw in a little bit of green fern to even that out too. This one also I think is really successful. I want to try more cross-section ones because then you can really tell the shape of the raspberry. But this one kind of looks cool too, I think. These are the ones that I used a little bit of raspberry just to throw in some accent color with those bright yellow firework looking flowers. These ones are really cute. And then I have these options for if I wanna do something specific with them later. I can always turn these into earrings later if I want to, but for now, I just decided to string them up into sun catchers because this is a great way that I like to store them around my van and I'm just gonna hang these up by a window until I have a use for them. I think they're really pretty and vibrant, yellow, pink, and green some of my favorite color combinations. With this project, I'm very close to using up all of my open bezels because I learned a lot from going through all of these pieces. I think I bought a hundred pieces and looking around my van, I can see a fair few for sure. <laughs> I would love to try out different types of fruit in these. The tricky thing was that they're so tiny. I didn't really know what could fit in there, but if I use the technique where I cut little circles of the strawberry, that could definitely open me up to some things or even cutting fruit to the proper shape of the bezels like I could imagine like a square kiwi charm that could possibly look cool if I can cut out a nice green shape with those dark seeds and I don't know just have to be more creative with what other fruit textures that I admire if you guys have any ideas of fruits that you want to see in resin that I should try and dehydrate definitely let me know I've already done quite a few fruit on my channel but I think even oranges in these earrings would look really cute I hope to try some different things really soon though for sure always love experimenting Feel the 